Hello everybody and welcome to Lauren Loves Color. This is Lauren. This is part two of my haul for January and you might be saying to yourself, but Lauren, you went on a no buy. You are working off of this credit system. I saw it in your planning video and you're absolutely correct. You guys may have just seen in one of my previous videos, my Amazon France haul that was kind of due to a technicality that I ordered them before January. And technically this is the same situation. Um, some of these were sent to me as PR. Some of these were, um, the rest of them are books that I ordered before January. I also have a rather large supply haul. Um, I think what I subconsciously ended up doing was knowing that I couldn't purchase any books myself. I went ahead and bought a lot of supplies. Um, so I'm probably going to have to check myself a little bit when it comes to February. Um, you'll see in my planning video how I plan on addressing that um, to make sure that I just decrease the amount of money in general that I spend on coloring because now I think I have enough supplies and enough books to about last me for a lifetime. So with that being said, it's great for you guys. And so um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what I got. So I've got a very delicately stacked area with supplies and books. So you guys just saw the book, so we will go ahead and get started with those. Mystery Mosaics, I hear everybody talk about them. They look amazing. Um, these are, I don't think I've even really opened this yet. These are the kind of square um, mosaic mystery style um, coloring pages. Um, I see a lot of people do really cool things about the with these. Um, they are all mystery. There are, and I will show you guys, I think there are solutions in the back that I will show you. Um, they do also have some sample pages. Um, this is their Wild Wonders series. So they have some other color by number books. Um, you may also be, and I'm going to turn on a little bit of light, you may also be familiar with their other books um, that I got that I'm going to show next, which are their color count books, which I really like. Um, but I liked the images that were included in this book number 10. Um, I, in particular, I like the um, fish image. My daughter has one of those little ring stackers. I like the flowers, the birds. I like, even like the seahorse horse. Um, I like the images in this book. I wasn't actually too keen on the image in the front, but I like all of these. So um, this one is now added to my collection. So I plan on trying those. And guys, I have some plans for these books. So if you want to know about some of my plans and plans for February and maybe some coloring challenges and color alongs, then you're going to want to watch my completed pages video um, or I may have to separately make a plans for February video. Either one, you're definitely going to want to watch. This is the um, next book um, that I was mentioning. I love these color counts books. I have a lot of them on my wish list. This one I couldn't pass up. Um, I think I got free shipping for mine where if I purchased a certain number of them, um, a certain number of books. So I threw this one um, in my cart. I ordered this directly from Mindware. So this has a lot of different um, pets and animals. Like I said, you've seen kind of my flip through or preview of one of these books before where one of them is color by number. The second page is not, not terribly a fan of that, but um, I do really love the images in these books. And I think there are only, and they have like double page spreads. I think there are only 11 unique images in each of these color counts books. So it makes them a little bit more expensive, but I do really love the way that these turn out. So looking forward to that one. I really like coloring cats and dogs. Um, I have learned that about myself. Um, next, I have a full flip through um, of this book. This is the Posh Creations color by number, something a little bit simpler, really nice paper. Um, I have done a page out of this book. Um, you can go back and watch my flip through videos. I have a really detailed review on this book. Really, really cute illustrations. They kind of follow a season. Um, so it kind of starts out in spring and then works its way towards summer, fall, and winter. So really enjoying this book. Um, this is a good one. Go check this one out on Amazon. And I'll have links to all of these books um, down below. This is a book sent to me um, by Sajan Sajdeva. This is a butterfly color by number. Um, I also really enjoy this book. This is kind of just quick, mindless, easy coloring, kind of get paper, to, I mean, um, color to paper type of an idea. Um, so I have done a couple of images out of this book. You will see that in my completed pages or maybe you've already seen it in my you've already seen it in my completed pages 
it's just of when I got it for my last slip there. Same thing with this one. You've seen the page that I've completed out of this. This is the Christmas color your way. This was also sent to me um, by Sach and Sach Diva. This is a just simply line art version um, book. Really, really cute, easy images to color. Um, I'm hoping for the jolly coloring um, tag that maybe I can get done more, more done out of this book, but I'm really trying to finish my Sun Life drawing Christmas book. So really enjoy this one as well. This one's really, really cute. This is done by Prachi. This is by Sachin's Wife. Next, you will have also seen a um, really big Q&A with Eclipse Art Books. I got to know um, the publisher um, and her husband a little bit throughout um, um, kind of throughout this past month, I did a big Q&A and color and chat video. If you haven't seen that, also go take a look at that. These books are amazing. Um, I am thinking that my next book that I purchased may be another book um, from this exact same publisher. Um, these images are really beautiful. They're on this kind of premium quality paper. Um, everything's done in this circle um, art style and the images just turn out beautifully. So I'm trying not to show you my completed pages. I did complete two pages out of this book so far and um, really think this is going to be a um, added to my 10 books to finish for 2021 because I gravitate a lot towards wanting to color out of this book. The last three books I'm not gonna go into immense detail about because also these are on some of my other um, I've done detailed flip throughs of these books. This is the um, best collection, 100 coloring pages by Sach and Sach Diva. This was sent to me for review. I have completed a page out of this that you will see in my completed pages. Um, really, really great collection of um, really, really great collection of different books. It's from 12 different books from Sach and Sach Diva, and um, really, really fantastic, fantastic book. Highly recommend this book if you're a fan of his work and it's not that much more expensive if it is even more expensive than one of his other coloring books I want to say maybe it's like a dollar or two more I mean you get a hundred pages in that which is pretty phenomenal um also you will have seen right before this video I am um, previewed three books um this one is also a new release by Sach and Sach Diva this is his beautiful birds book color by number um, this one is specifically geared towards adults, so it is a little bit more detailed than some of his other books. Really, really love this. I have colored a page out of this as well, um, and I look forward to spending some more time in here, um, but this is fantastic. This one is one of my absolute favorites that I have received this month. This is the large print color by number for adults by Color Questopia. What I love about it most is that it is a large number of very unique images, a unique collection of images um, that are pretty easy to color. The black background makes it easier and then they, they have redone their numbering system to be a lot, um, a lot easier to color and to utilize. So really, really happy with this book. This book is also one that um, would easily be finished in a year if you wanted to add this um, to your 10 books to finish or if you just wanted to finish a coloring book really quickly, this is a great one. The last one I reviewed also was You Are Loved. This is more of a kind of February hearts and love theme book um, by Color Questopia. Um, about half the images have these quotes in them. Um, and this also, again, is just a really nice, easy, quick color. Um, and uh, it has the same um, updated numbering system. The images are beautiful and um, this is really, really great. And if you haven't seen my last video with these, um, with the last three books in it, you're going to want to because my giveaway is still open. And in that video, if you watch to the very, very end, I give some instructions for what you need to do to um, insert the giveaway and you can win either a Color Questopia or a such and such diva book of your choice so it is open to um international um as well i'm going to try to do that through amazon i think i can without exorbitant shipping so um i highly um encourage you to go watch that video um, and to follow the instructions that are in the description boxes in, in the video itself to give yourself a chance to win. Um, I will be closing entries um, on Friday at midnight central standard time. So go check it out. Next, we are going to move on to supplies. So the first supply that I have 
is one of my most exciting. These, This is my Tombow marker set. Um, if you've seen one of my previous videos, I did get kind of excited and show this a little bit beforehand. This is the 96 set. I got this from a seller on eBay at a steal. I think I got the entire set of 96 for $40. It even came with the stand. But at that point, I was like, you know what? I might as well just get the full collection. So um, I did order a new, um, I guess, like storage solution. This is the um, Tombow case. This is Tombow branded and it kind of accordions out like this so that you can kind of stand it up on the edge of your desk and it holds all 108 um, markers and it also has this nice kind of protective clip, clip on um, case on top with a nice little handle. Um, so I got this case and this case almost cost as much as the markers themselves. And then the only place I could find it, I think Dick Blick had it as well, but I had a coupon um, for Tombow was to get the rest of the markers. This is the new marker set um, from Tombow that are the new colors that were released maybe a year or a year and a half ago. Um, and this will complete the 108 different colors for the Tombow markers. So I plan on using these and have already used them actually on a coloring page out of my Disney books. You guys saw that big, large France collection. And um, I do want to tell you something about Tombows. I love these. I love how they work in the Disney books. They're really great. I do enjoy using them more than um, more than um, Crayola Super Tips. However, I had hoped to really use them a lot in these like pixel books. So I'm working on a, a picture in my llama book right now. And I will tell you, I don't feel like they work really well in these books. I was hoping to use the smaller nib um, inside of here. And if you wanted to maybe do the X method, that would work great. But the paper inside of these books does not do well with the Tombows. Um, even I tried to use the brush tip side in here and it looks a lot more textured and it doesn't, the marker doesn't slide very well across the page. So I'll show it in my completed pages, but it looks a little bit grainy. I ended up switching on the page that I'm working on right now. I'm actually using Crayola Super Tips to finish this out. So, but I had a really great experience using these in the larger Disney books. So I will use them for that. But I, guys, I would encourage you don't go out and buy a brand new set of Tombows. Um, like I said, even this marker set was somewhere ridiculous, like around $25 or $30 maybe with a coupon. Um, don't go out and buy Tombows just to think that you can use them on anything. They do not work well on this paper, which I think is actually really nice paper. Um, they don't work well on here. I haven't tried them on regular Amazon paper. I've heard they work really well on that, but usually on a lot of my Amazon paper books, they're single-sided, so I wouldn't really be using them... Um, I would really be using alcohol markers there. So I'm really glad I got all of this kind of on sale and on a bargain um, because I would have been really, really disappointed if I spent $200 on buying these markers just for them to not work in all of the books that I wanted them to. They're going to be totally fine for working in the Disney books and I'm really happy I have them. I just, I want to give that disclaimer for anybody who is um, considering purchasing the Tombow marker sets. So that is that. Um, next is going to be, um, I bought a pack of the Jelly Roll. Um, this is the Clear Stardust. I don't know if my camera will focus um, on this or not. Can you see it? No, it's not going to focus. But these are the Jelly Roll Clear Stardust um, pens. They are just clear glitter. And um, I'm just using these for accents um, on pages. Um, I have some, I have a whole bunch of glitter gel pens um, that work just fine, but I find that I use clear a lot. And so I bought a lot of the Jelly Roll ones. I had heard good things about these. And um, I have to agree, I think they are pretty fantastic. So I got a pack of those. Um, I also got um, a pack of the Uniball Signo White gel pens. I use the Jelly Roll gel pens. It's not the it's not the bold ten point 
Um, I have the skinnier ones and I think they're a little bit streaky. Um, I don't like them as much. I've heard a lot of good things about the Uniball Signo and I did use these in a coloring page um, this month and really, really like them. So this actually came in a pack, I think, of three Uniball Signo white pens and three of the Ultra Fine Tips for the Posca. Um, so I also got the Posca pen as well to try and these are okay. I thought they were pretty decent. Um, but I guess I was expecting something a little more amazing with the Poscas. I think I ended up using the white gel pen, um, more than I used the Posca, but I'm glad that I have both, um, because I think I, I can definitely see myself using both of these. Um, so I have a lot of those. I also, for a kind of small tool, bought this little, this is actually a Copic branded, um, grabber, clinger, I forget what you call this thing, Did I, tweezer. Um, and what this is, is this is to pull the brush nib out of your marker. Um, so if you want to change out the brush nibs on your marker or want to turn them around, you can use these. Um, I have the Caliart brush nibs. And so once your brush nibs start to wear out, you can flip them around or you can actually just completely change them out. Um, and so I didn't really have a good set of tweezers. These have kind of a nice little tooth um, on the ends of them. And some of my brush nibs on my Caliart are starting to get worn out. And I need to flip them. So um, I bought this um, particular Copic tweezer and I've already used it and it works great. Um, next is going to be my Stabilo 68s. So you guys may have seen at Christmas, I got these Stabilo fine liners. Um, I got a set of 30 there. I didn't realize it quite that they had a set of 50 of the fine liners, but it's totally fine because I got um, also the Tri-Plus fine liners. But I see these pens a lot and actually I see them in pictures a lot. People will line up their coloring books and then they'll have all of the pens laid out to take pictures. So they look really cute on Instagram. Um, um, but these are felt tip pens, but they are a little bit thicker, just so you can kind of see the color range here, and they look absolutely gorgeous. Um, but a lot of people, um, I've seen color with these, especially in some more of these kind of mosaic style books, um, but they have a bit of a thicker um, kind of traditional felt tip um, nib. And they are somewhat expensive. I don't know if that's just a United States thing, but um, they were not incredibly cheap. Let me see how much I paid for these. They're about $51 for a 50 set of these. They are absolutely beautiful. I have used them um, in some of my Color Questopia books and um, to kind of go in between the lines. Um, and like I said, I plan on using these a lot in some of my mosaic style books, um, my color by number books. And they're really, really beautiful. I um. Um, I'm really, really happy with these. These are really, really nice. I'm curious what the difference though would be between these and like the, um, what are the other felt tip pens that we have um, here? I don't know why I can't think. I can never think once I'm actually on video. Um, but there are some other, um, the Pentel Flare, the Flare? No, not Pentel. Um, the flare pens, the felt tip pens, I don't know why I can't think of them, but I wonder what the difference would be. I mean, to, to me, these feel really smooth to write, and I know some of those flare pens are, um, they feel like they drag quite a bit. So um, let me know in the comments below if you've used, if you used other felt tip pens and how you think these compare um, to the other ones, because um, I do really like the color selection in these, and they do have a magenta a like true magenta and they are numbered which I like as well they don't have color names but they are numbered um so just let me know what you think in regards to these versus other pens um and what you like because I do really 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 like these this is the largest set I think that they sell um and does it come with duplicate colors I think yes it does come with two black um, and then it comes with your neons as well. So you've got a pretty good selection. I think these are going to be great for mandalas. I see these as being great for, um, like I said, some of those mystery mosaic books and stuff. I, um, I think these are going to be, be kind of my go-to for that. And I have left them in the tin that they come in because they're just so pretty. So this was a big purchase for me. And then I've continued to be on Facebook Marketplace because after I found those Tombos on eBay, I figured I had to see what other good deals were out there. So these are the Prismacolor Premier um, markers. These are a brush style marker. And what I really like about these, and you can see it on the box itself, 
is that they are a brush nib on one side and on the other side is kind of a small like ultra fine nib and um, I thought I would use these as kind of some backup markers to my other set or if I just wanted to pull out um, some quick markers um, to draw with that I could I could do that these came as brand new on Facebook marketplace this guy I think received them as a gift and just never even opened them or used them so I can definitely tell they're brand new um, I need to swatch these out and put them in a color order, but they also came in this nice case. Um, I think normally this set of 24, I'm sorry, goes somewhere between 50 and $60. I got them for $20 brand new. So I thought that that was a steal and that I would at least try them. Um, so they are labeled on the top and the bottom. You're not going to be able to see that because my camera's not going to focus on it. Um, but they're labeled on the top and the bottom and then they have, um, kind of, this is the ultra fine nib and then they have a brush nib and so I've already colored a picture with these I really like them um one thing I'll tell you that's a little bit different about them as well is that the brush nib is rubber it's not like a felt nib like the Cali Art pens so I wonder if these are going to um if the nib is going to last longer on these than on some of the other ones. But I figured if I had pens that started to run out or I needed to just grab a quick set of markers to, um, to color something, like if I'm doing like, again, like a mandala or I'm doing um, something quick and easy, like maybe some of the color Questopia books, I can just grab this and kind of use these as some go-to markers. I don't know why, but it feels like my personal journey to try out a whole bunch of different brush type markers to figure out which ones are best, even though I continue to come back to the Cali Arts. But um, I feel like the Cali Art brush nibs um, kind of wear out a little bit easily. And uh, um, these may be a little bit more durable, but they are extraordinarily more expensive than the Cali Arts. So I probably won't purchase another massive set of these, but I'm really happy with them thus far. So I got those. What is interesting is when you draw over the line art with those, you hear a little bit of a squeak, 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 because it's rubber. It's kind of an interesting um, thing, but I feel like the color lays down a lot smoother um, than with my other alcohol markers. Um, last but not least are really just going to be, and sorry, these are loud supplies, is a backup for my Teo Tree markers and a backup for my Cali Arts. This is the 100 Cali Art set. This is the 101 Teo Tree set. Both of these went on sale for, um, on lightning deals on Amazon. So I think I got this, the Teo Trees for like $17.00. Let me see. Yeah, the Teo Tree. No, the Teo Tree I got for about $24 with tax. The Cali Art Markers I got for $28 with tax. Um, this is a fantastic deal on the 100 Cali Art set. I had this exact set. I am starting to run out of ink on some of my Cali Arts and my regular Cali Arts because this is probably the regular 100 Cali Arts are my most used markers, I would say, other than my Teo Trees. These Actually, these two sets of markers are what I use every single day, what I gravitate towards, what kind of are my absolute loves. I love the Cali Art brush sets as well, but I can't use the brush markers on all coloring pages because they are pretty juicy. So on things with finer details, I find myself gravitating more towards my Teo trees and on things that um, um, where I feel like I need to do a little bit more concentrating. I, these are just kind of like my old tried and true. So I couldn't pass up the deal and the bargain on these two to get this, um, to get these two sets. So I have some um, legitimate, really good backups to my marker sets now. So with that being said, we are at 23 minutes. That is enough haul. I plan on having a different kind of video um, for my haul next month. Um, hopefully it will feel a little bit different than what it does um, this month. These videos are really, really fun to watch. They're some of my favorite videos to watch, but in the same sense, I, I am supplied out. I think I have more than enough supplies to last me for a long time. I have coloring books to me that are on the on the way in the mail to me right now from other publishers. I will have some haul, but hopefully a lot of it will be happy mail and um, things sent to me for a PR and review rather than me purchasing them myself. And I will make sure to share anything that I receive in the mail with you. 
with that being said, it isn't enough time for it's time for me to stop rambling. And I will see you all in my next video to show you um, hopefully my completed pages and then my plans for February. Um, hope you all have a great rest of your week. Bye.